All right, gang, so this video is all about the importance of smaller bait. If you watch this tuna fishing thing going on right here, it's all about Sean and Chase standing there throwing small bait in the water, and the yellowfin are going absolutely bananas. Yellowfin and skipjack, and the more you throw, the better it gets. The fish just go nutty when they braille a scoop in there to the corner. Look at all that fish coming up. And as we go along on this video, we're going to show you how important it is to have smaller bait and how important it is when you do have smaller bait, how it's going to change what you catch. And we're, going to, we're showing you a little bit of this tuna thing to get your attention, but it's all about smaller bait, calico bass fishing, smaller bait, yellowfin tuna fishing, smaller bait causes a reaction in the fish and makes them want to bite. So watch as we chum and as the bass, or excuse me, as the tuna boil around the boat and go absolutely bananas. And keep watching this video because we're going to transition right into showing you how the smaller bait, the anchovies work to make the calico bass do exactly the same thing. So pay attention here as we go along. And then at the end of this video, let me know if you guys like to fish big bait or small bait. Leave a comment at the bottom telling me, hey Dave, I only like to fish big bait, then tell me why. Because I like to fish big bait and small bait. I like to use big bait on my hook and I like to chum with small bait because it changes the prey density level in the water and it makes this fish go absolutely bananas. Look at them going nuts here and there's dead fish laying all over the boat. We caught limits of yellowfin tuna. I know you've seen this video before, but this one's all about chumming and how important it is to have smaller bait to chum with. So watch this, check it out, and enjoy. Or there's a little stringer right here of kelp. Watch this. You throw a little anchovy on it. Look at the bass. They're already jumping out of the water before the bait even hits it. Hook up. Woohoo! Another beautiful calico bass. I'll tell you what, I'd rather catch fish than not. Those big game hunters out there. Woo! I'll tell you what. Sure beats a hell of a long day out on the ocean. Looking for kelp. Once you learn how to do this, you can pretty much catch anything that swims. That phone never stops ringing, folks. <sighs> Another calico. My favorite fish to catch. There he is. Hey, little buddy, thanks. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Oh, yeah, it's flipping everywhere. Oh, big boil on the dead sardine right there. See if they go for the live one. Uh oh. Somebody's knocking at the door. All over it. Ah, fish on. There he is. Another beautiful calico bass. Yeah, buddy. Nothing wrong with that. Just to be able to throw chum is just so bitchin'. Ah, it changes everything, ladies and gentlemen. Changes everything. And you can throw a little bit of anchovy in the water and then fly line a nice sardine or a mackerel out there. It just... All right, gang, this probably looks like a pretty cool day to most of you. This is a typical day fishing in Southern California for Captain Dave as you've been watching most of my videos. So if you guys think this is cool and you want to learn how you can catch fish every single time you go out on your boat, go to my website at YourSaltWaterGuide.com. We talk about the current, the prop, which way we want it to go, how to tell which direction it is going, how to hook your bait, how to chum, how to tie on your hook, what pound line to use, what rods, what reels, the whole thing, every part of it, absolutely matters it's just like when you're making chocolate chip cookies if you make a great batch of chocolate chip cookies but you leave the butter out they're going to taste terrible the same thing happens when you go fishing on your boat if you do almost every single thing that i do every day but you leave out that one thing and it could be this the one thing as simple as anchoring on the spot or it could be the chum or it could be your hook your line you never know what it might be but it could just be the one thing you're missing. You want to go to your saltwater guide and check it out. And I'll see you guys on the next video. At the bottom of this video, hit the like button and leave a comment. And I'll be more than happy to make you as many videos as you want.